Right? Now we're going for the retreat. Have you heard? I said, have you heard? What's the date? 29th of March to the 1st of April. As we're going for the retreat, there are people, they're getting ready, they're, they're tightening their belt, and they're saying, I'm going there, and I'm going to be in the kitchen. Uh-uh, not again this time. Why? I don't want always to be in the kitchen. I must be there. If I don't get there, the food will not be ready in time. How do you know? With all these thousands of people that are going to walk in the kitchen, no, you've been walking there for too long a time. This time, you will not go to the kitchen. Somebody give me amen. Yeah. You will sit with the congregation. Why are you afraid of the word of God? Why are you afraid of sitting down and listening to the word of God so that all the rough edges of your life will be totally ironed out? I'm going to the kitchen, the kitchen. And then... If uh, we don't put them in the kitchen, all the people will put there to prove that they cannot do it. We will pull something off. We will take something away so that those new people in the kitchen will not succeed. And they will say, there we are. Now I told them, I told them that if I'm not there, the kitchen will not function well. But you know you're a backslider. You know you are the one causing that failure. You know it's because you're striving. You're angry. They didn't put me there. And I must be at the kitchen. And all those who were in the kitchen last time, you will not be in the kitchen this time. Yeah. All those who are by force, by force, I must be in the kitchen. That attitude of by force disqualifies you. You are not going to be in the kitchen. And if you are a child of God, you will be happy in honor preferring one another. You allow other people to go there. And if you are happy, they succeed. I'm happy you are succeeding. Are you happy I'm succeeding? Let Don't dodge. Let me see your face. You know, because somebody can say, yes, but... I said, are you happy I'm succeeding? Yeah. I'm happy you will succeed. Yeah. My success will be your success. Yeah. Your success will be my success. Yeah. That is the attitude of a child of God. No strife and no fighting. It says in verse 3, let nothing be done through strife for being glory. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves let each esteem other better than themselves look up here a moment when we're to do something at the retreat and this person is doing it well i don't know what our church is becoming what do you mean look at the people they put there what do you mean they can do it they don't know anything about that thing they put them there to do what do you mean? If they put me there, Absalom. If they put me there, that's how they start. That's an Absalom. I will reorganize everything. Everything will be all right and perfect. Uh -uh. You have an ulterior motive. In honor, preferring one another. That's how we keep healthy in the church. That's how we keep happy in the church. I'm not jealous of you. I'm not jealous of me. He's not jealous of her. She's not jealous of him. And we do everything in the love of God. And this work will prosper in our hands together. Yeah. Verse 4, it says, Look not every man on his own things. But every man also on the things of others, how others will succeed. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let the mind of Christ be in you. If the mind of Christ is in you, you'll be happy with everybody. Are you happy? You'll be happy with the church. Are you happy? You'll be happy with your local pastor. Are you happy? You'll be happy with your generous representative. Are you happy? I said you are happy. 
and then you will be as happy as the happiest person in the congregation. You will be as courageous or the most courageous in the congregation. You'll be as holy as the holiest in the congregation. You'll just, you'll just have a free mind. The Lord has chosen you and you're happy. They give you this to do or they give it to your brother, happy. Or they give this to you, they don't give it to your sister, happy. And your sister is uh, having a chance, you're not having the chance, happy. And that section is moving on our section. They have not given us, we're requesting for this amount of money, this amount of money. They say they are giving everything to kitchen, they are giving everything to food. And they don't give us, okay, when we get there, if we don't have the money we're requesting, we're going to show them, even the whatever instruments we have, we're going to play it in such a lousy way that when they come, we'll say, we told you, we told you, give us money for this. And since the money did not come, that's all we can produce. We will not be like that. There will be love in this church. There will be unity in this church. And there will be the respect and the honor and the reverence we have for each other in this church in Jesus' name. When you are there to do your bid, we'll give you freedom. You'll be free to do the will of God. When I'm there to do my little bid, I'll be free to have uh, the freedom to do everything God has given me to do. You're free, I am free, she's free, and he is free. And we're doing the will of God. This work will prosper. Yeah. And your own private work will prosper. Yeah. And your private family will prosper. Yeah. And your own personal life will prosper. Yeah. Prosperity will flow everywhere in Jesus' name. Yeah.